The majority of you watching this video will not be fishing out of a boat. You'll be wearing waders in small streams. The rest of this video is to show you how to do that and how to drift the trout magnet. But before we do that, I want to show you how we twitch the trout magnet without a float. It's a little bit more advanced, and it's not like fishing a regular jig for, for fish or for trout. Basically, you're lightly twitching the rod tip as you slowly reel. The reason you can do that is the trout magnet falls flat, and the light twitch makes it flutter in the water. Most jigs fall too fast to have a light rod tip action work. So here's what we do. We cast as far as we can across the current. And as I'm bringing it in real slowly, I lightly twitch the trout magnet. Just twitching it, just lightly twitching the rod tip and looking for the lure to either disappear or feel a fish take the trout magnet. Now what I want to do is I want to bring this thing as close to the bottom as possible without touching the bottom. And so I'm lightly twitching the trout magnet, twitching it is just a, a light twitch and just watching the, the, the lure in the water as it comes along the bottom and then setting the hook when I catch a fish. It can be a real bad deadly way to use the trout magnet. You lightly twitch in the rod tip and what we do is we watch the lure and if we can't watch it we feel it. Now this can be a real effective way to use the trout magnet but it is more advanced and can be very tricky. I a lot of times use it in small streams where um, I can see the fish and I can get them to react to that light twitching. Now we're going to go to um, uh, two young men who have never used the trout magnet to show you how to use the trout magnet in a uh, in a stream environment when you're waiting using the float with a trout magnet. 